what if someone had already maybe completed other 500 level courses, right? Uh, maybe a 503 or 504, should they still give thought to, to taking 450? I would say yes. I mean, 450, uh, I actually picked that number for a reason, right? I tried to place it in between the 500s and the 401. Uh, and so I was trying to kind of mentally position it there for people. And that being said, you know, 503 and 504 are major courses for sands that a lot of people have taken. And uh, in some ways they are more advanced, but they're also very different in terms of what they cover. So if you were to take 503 and 504, I mean, 503 is tearing very closely into packets and looking at IDSs and, and network data. Uh, whereas uh, my course is broader, you know, looking at some of that, but also how we look at that data as a SOC analyst and how we implement the you know, analysis and the triage and everything else and all that other part of it. So if you want to be, you know, a packet surgeon, right? 503, outstanding course for that. But to give it the broader context of a security analyst, uh, I could still see that being a very useful thing to take 450 with. Uh, for those who have taken, you know, the courses, um, you know, lots and lots of 500 level courses and have been an analyst for a long time, maybe less so. Uh, but for those who have maybe taken one or two 500 level courses, I think it still offers a lot of stuff um, that is not necessarily uh, found anywhere else in, in the SANS curriculum. And so I think it would definitely still be of value.